Okay, so you've heard of keto and you're wondering what all the hype is about. I mean, does it really work and is it the right diet for you? Well, there's a really simple answer to this question. If you want to see dramatic results in both how you feel and how you look, then following a keto diet is an amazing option. Now here's the deal, like any new habit, getting started with keto can be challenging and you're going to have to stick with it to see those results. But trust me, if you can commit to the three things I'm going to share with you in this video, your body and your health will thank you. But before I share those three tips, let's make sure we're clear on what a keto diet is anyway. When you start a keto diet, you're committing to eating a high amount of fat, a very low amount of carbs, and a moderate amount of protein. By drastically reducing your carb intake, your body's going to enter a state of ketosis, hence the name keto. Ketosis is a metabolic state where your body runs on ketones, a highly efficient alternative fuel. For those of you who haven't heard of ketones, they are a game changer in the world of weight loss. Think of it like switching to premium gas instead of regular unleaded. When your body runs on the optimum fuel, you'll drop fat fast and improve your overall health. In fact, research shows that getting your body into a state of ketosis can help with health conditions like heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and Alzheimer's disease. All right, so back to those three tips to kickstart your journey in the right direction. First, make sure to eat the right foods. You're going to want to replace all those danger zone carbs in your refrigerator with keto-friendly options. That means introducing meats, high-fat dairy, and healthy oils in larger quantities to your diet. You'll also want to focus on leafy greens, above ground vegetables, nuts and seeds, berries, and keto approved sweeteners. Prepare to say goodbye to all grains, sugar, fruit, and starchy vegetables. Oh, and if your freezer is full of TV dinners, you'll want to clean that out too. Prepared packaged and processed foods are seldom compatible with a keto friendly diet. It may sound like a lot, but don't worry, keto gets way easier to manage when you have the right tools. In fact, we've done all the heavy lifting for you with customized keto diet plans that will tell you exactly what you need to eat. Just click the link below this video to discover the plan that will work best for you. And you might even be surprised by how many of the things you love you can still eat once you learn how to make them keto friendly. That's right, bread, pasta, cookies, and even ice cream all have keto friendly alternatives. Okay, tip number two, it's not just the types of food you're eating that matters, but also how much you're eating. Keto foods naturally help to cut your calorie intake but you're still going to want to keep careful track so you don't accidentally go over your daily limit. Not sure whether you're eating too much? The best way to figure it out is by checking your progress every few weeks. If you're not getting the results you're looking for, consider adjusting your daily calorie limit accordingly. Remember that whole rule about high fat, low carb, moderate protein? Those are your macronutrients, also known as macros. And in order to keep your body in a state of ketosis, you're going to want to track them. General rule of thumb, eat less than 35 grams of carbs per day. Get 70% of your calories from fat and 25% from protein. Okay, last but not least, prepare for the keto flu. When you first cut back on carbs, your body might experience some changes and some people experience what's been nicknamed the keto flu. But don't worry, it's not actually the flu, just a term for some temporary symptoms like fatigue or mental fogginess. The keto flu is generally short-lived, and if you're as committed as I think you are, you won't let it stand in the way of the tremendous success you're going to see in just a few weeks. Plus, you can prepare for it ahead of time in order to lessen your chance of experiencing those symptoms. Drink more water, increase your sodium, potassium, and magnesium intake, and make sure to eat more high-quality fat like MCTs. Okay, so those are our three pieces of advice to make sure you get the most out of the journey you're about to take. To recap, follow the keto food list as strictly as possible, monitor how much you eat, and prepare for the adjustment period. Most importantly, listen to your body every day and monitor the changes to make sure that the ketogenic diet is the right fit for you. Want to jumpstart your success on keto? Click the link below to get your very own custom keto diet plan and get started today. Once you've gotten used to a ketogenic diet, you're going to want to push your results to the next level. So if you've got your grocery list and your meal planning under control, then it's time to start thinking about intermittent fasting. And okay, before you press pause at the dreaded fasting word, hear me out. Intermittent fasting, also known as IF, is one of today's hottest topics in the diet and wellness communities. And for good reason. If you do it correctly, IF can be an insanely powerful tool for accelerating fat loss and breaking through frustrating weight loss plateaus. Now, it's not essential that you commit to IF while on keto. If the idea of it makes you want to throw your keto diet out the window, then it isn't for you. But if you're up for another adjustment with the potential to ramp up your weight loss and turn you into a fat burning machine, then keep watching. IF basically boils down to two terms, feeding and fasting. You're in a feeding state when you're eating and all the times in between you're fasting. Easy, right? Okay, so here's the deal. There's several different methods for fasting and you get to choose 
Which one works best for your lifestyle? Most people find that at least one of the following is compatible with their life and fits well into their daily routine. Option one, skip meals that prolong the time your body's in a fasting state. Most people choose to skip breakfast or lunch. Option two, rely on the eating windows method. This approach involves eating between a four and seven hour window every day and fasting for the rest of it. Option three, not for the faint of heart. Your third choice is to commit to a 24 to 48 hour cleanse. It's more of an extended fast and I don't recommend it if you're just getting started with IF. So how do you know which option Option is best. If you're just getting started with fasting, option two is probably the way to go. We found that restricting yourself to specific eating windows tends to work well for new fasters. For example, tons of people have tremendous success only eating between 5 and 11 p.m. And don't forget that the time you spend asleep will account for a chunk of that time. Let's take a closer look at how it works. Say you finish eating at 6 p.m. and start eating again at noon the next day. That means you fasted for 18 hours and eaten for six. In other words, you've achieved an 18-6 window. If you finish eating as early as 5 p.m. and don't eat again until noon the next day, then you've fasted for 19 hours and eaten for five, or you've achieved a 19-5 window. You don't have to adhere to IF every day. You can try it out once a week at first, listen to your body, and then add in more IF days over time. So why does IF work anyway? The first and simplest reason is that our bodies can only take in so much food at a time. If you're someone who struggles with overeating or snacking out of boredom, IF can help to drastically cut those extra calories and keep you within your limits for weight loss. When your body's in a fasting state, it will begin to break down stored fat to use as energy. So if you're following a ketogenic diet, your body is already mimicking a fasting state since it's relying on fat, not glucose, as its main source of fuel. Just make sure that you're still hitting your daily macros and getting enough fat when you're in your eating window. If this sounds overwhelming, don't worry. We've got a tool that builds intermittent fasting into a keto diet regimen customized for your needs and goals. Click the link below this video to discover your personalized plan. And keep in mind that the benefits of IF go far beyond weight loss. After all, there's a reason why every wellness community is talking about it and why thousands of today's top performers have made it a part of their daily routine. People who practice fasting on a regular basis reap tremendous health benefits in many areas, not just by turning their bodies into maximum fat burning machines. Nobel Prize winner Yoshinari Asumi discovered that fasting can trigger autophagy, which is essentially a deep cleaning process for your cells. Autophagy helps to stop the aging process, reverse disease, and prevent cancer. It's basically the body's way of cleaning out cells by recycling non-essential components like damaged proteins and getting rid of invading microorganisms and toxic compounds. Like most complex mechanisms, your body needs a break from feeding, so it can focus on performing these other functions instead. Not only does fasting trigger autophagy, it also increases the number of ketones in your bloodstream more than a keto diet alone will do. When you start practicing IF, you may find yourself more focused than usual. That's because your body is running on ultra premium fuel. If you're on keto, you may have already experienced this heightened mental clarity. So consider adding IF to your routine, a way to get more bang for your buck, so to speak. Lots of people ask me if they can do IF if they're avid exercisers. If that's you, don't worry. Countless studies have shown that intermittent fasting is compatible with fitness routines and can even result in higher metabolic adaptations, improved muscle synthesis, and even better response to post-workout meals. So is IF right for you? If you're not afraid to change it up, burn more fat, focus better, and improve overall health, then I say give it a try. I've honestly never seen as much success as I do with people who combine a ketogenic diet with an IF lifestyle. It's truly the holy grail of weight loss and optimum health. Click the link below this video to create your own customized keto diet plan where you can easily add intermittent fasting into your daily routine. Today I'm going to tell you about a diet that has the potential to completely revolutionize your relationship with food, your body, and yourself. It's called the ketogenic diet. You may have already heard about it. After all, it's one of the hottest topics in today's biggest wellness communities. But don't be fooled because keto isn't just some new trend. The diet has actually been around for nearly a century. Thousands of people have relied on it over the years to help them achieve their weight loss goals. So if you're curious about what keto is all about, this video is a great place to start. When we refer to a keto lifestyle, we're referring to a lifestyle filled with higher amounts of fats, moderate amounts of proteins, and a very low amount of carbs. Basically, you're taking all the glucose from carbs that you're used to relying on for energy and switching it for an energy source that comes from fats instead, called ketones. It's a definite game changer and it can take some getting used to. If you've been following a standard modern American diet for most of your life, you've probably heard a ton about the alleged evils of saturated fats. 
but on a keto diet, you'll learn to rely on healthy saturated fats like the ones that come from oils and avocados as your main source of fuel. You see, each carb, fat, and protein that you put into your body is considered a macronutrient, or macros for short. On keto, you want more fat macros and very little carb macros. So now that you know about macronutrients, what exactly do ketoers eat? After all, a high fat, low carb diet is a complete reversal from the status quo. First things first, you're still going to want vegetables. Load up on leafy greens like spinach, but stay moderate on cruciferous veggies like cabbage and cauliflower. Next, invite high fat proteins and dairies into your life and throw out that skim milk forever. Low fat dairy products, grains, and sugars are all banned from the keto way of life. Sound challenging? I promise the food is actually delicious and soon enough, you'll find that you don't crave carbs at all. A good example of a keto breakfast would be scrambled eggs with avocado or a vegan porridge made with coconut flour, flaxseed oil, and vanilla protein powder topped with berries. For lunch, trade in your sandwich for a green salad with bacon and blue cheese accompanied by a cup of roasted red pepper soup. Dinner, my personal favorite, is a delicious gold mine of opportunity. Instead of traditional pasta, try a one-pot shrimp alfredo or a lasagna casserole made with spaghetti squash layered in ground beef, spicy sausage, and of course, a nice helping of cheese. If you need inspiration for keto meals or don't know how to keep track of all these macros, click the link below this video to get a diet plan customized for your needs. So why does this keto thing work anyway? Are you really going to lose weight by replacing skim milk for ground beef smothered with cheese? The answer is yes. If you stick with it, you absolutely will. Here's the thing. A common misconception is that carbs should be our go-to source for energy. Think about a runner who carbos before a big race. But that's just because carbs are the easiest molecule for our bodies to break down and use as fuel. When you don't eat carbs, your body turns to another superior source of fuel, fat. Without glucose, your liver is forced to turn fat into fatty acids and ketones, which means you're essentially running on fat. Quite literally, you become a fat-burning machine. Rapidly burning fat? <laughs> Sign me up. But that's not the only benefit of switching to a ketogenic diet. Many studies also show that a keto lifestyle is beneficial to people suffering from chronic health conditions like cancer, diabetes, epilepsy, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's disease. If you're looking to ramp up your weight loss and boost your health, then I highly suggest you try out this diet. As with any new habit, it can be challenging to get started, so that's why I recommend using a customized keto diet website where you'll get personalized feedback on your statistics, lifestyle, and weight loss goals. Click the link below this video to discover how a customized keto plan can jumpstart your weight loss journey and help you achieve your goals.